uh, entities that we were working with, and Julianne had worked with uh, with all three of the mm -hmm. organizations. And fortunate for us, we chose an image by Charles Rollo Peters, who ended up being one of the, the major sources of material for uh, an exhibition that Julianne put together at the Stevenson House. Well, the iconic image that you selected uh, was on your program and other literature. I'm going to hold it up for just a moment. Um, it is uh, a daytime painting, a daylight painting, and typically Charles Rollo Peters uh, is best known for his nocturnes. Um, so, um, Julianne, in the selection of Kitty of Sonoma, I believe that's the name of the, of the painting, um, how did the committee choose Kitty of Sonoma as that iconic image, and then how did you use that as the springboard to begin developing some of the storyline and exhibition ideas? It made sense to choose an image from the City Collection because of the three we were drawing from. City of Monterey, Monterey Collection is by far the largest. It made sense to choose an image by Charles Rollo Peters because he's very well known. Many of our artists are extremely well known, but he's up there with the best known of them. And yet this image, as everyone noted, is not a Monterey image. And from my perspective as curator, that was also an important message to send out, that although we're featuring Monterey collections, and we're extraordinarily proud of the number and caliber of artists who chose to work their careers in this area. They came from far and abroad, and they worked far and abroad. So um, this selection, which was, I think I may have picked out about 10, mm -hmm. and then one evening, a couple folks sat down and went through them. And when we got to this one, there was, ooh, ah, hey, this could work. You want something that's fairly simple. You don't want something hugely complicated and that is evocative. And I like to say um, it is inscribed to Kitty Sonoma, 1891. And that was the year. Kitty is Catherine Murphy, who became Mrs. Charles Rolla Peters that very same year. So there's a lot of, how shall we say, um, there's a, it's a lovely Sentiment. sentimental yeah. pack, package. Mm -hmm. But I already knew that, I mean, if anyone, I think, looking at an overview of the City of Monterey collection, might gravitate towards a Peter's feature because there are about four dozen works from Charles Rollo Peters II, who's the painter who's so widely known, his second wife, and his two surviving sons. So that being able to feature Peters, show paintings that are not widely known, and there's some gems in that collection that have never been published before and also to make it a family affair. That just seemed tremendously appealing. So of the five spaces as curator that um, I had the opportunity to quote unquote theme, that was the first one. That was just easy as rolling off a log.